In case you didn't know, Macedonia is famous for its wines. They have three wine regions and for the next two days we're going to be exploring a few of the best wineries in the Povodari region. That is the best wine region for quality and quantity. Behind us we have the gates of the Tikvest winery. That is the biggest winery in the country and one of the biggest in southeastern Europe. During our September visit to Povodari, we were fortunate enough to be there during the annual grape harvest. At Tikvest, we were shown how the grapes are separated and cleaned. Wine making has been part of Macedonian culture for more than 2,000 years. A visit to Povodari will give you an opportunity to taste several Macedonian varieties as well as international wines. It's incredible that each one of these barrels contains around 225 liters of wine and that's the equivalent of around 300 bottles and the barrels aren't cheap, they're around 500 euros each. To end our visit here in Tigfest Winery, we had a wine pairing with lunch. We tried a few different wines from the Balkans, also a rosé and a seven-year-old aged rakia, which is probably the best in the Balkans. Nazdravie. Next stop of the day is Stoby Winery for a tour of their fermenting tanks and a peek at their harvesting process. Right now I'm walking inside the biggest barrel room in Macedonia and it's located inside Stoby Winery, the youngest winery in the country. They were founded in the year 2009, they have over 600 hectares of vineyards and right here to the right of me we have a barrel that holds over 500 liters of wine which is around 600 bottles. When you visit Stoby Winery, you have two different options. You can either go with a hard lunch, which basically means you have lamb, chicken, or pork, or you can go with a light lunch, which is cheese and wine pairing. During our light lunch at Stoby, we tried five different types of wine. We also left with a couple of our favorites, like Moscat and a Macedonian red wine called Vranets. We have arrived to the village of Demir Kapia, and we're staying at Popova Kula, which means priest tower. This winery has been producing wine since 2005. They're a hotel and restaurant. And as you can see, the tower is a symbol of their brand. We're gonna see the winery and try their most famous grape, Stanushina. Like the other two wineries we visited, Popovac Kula was in the midst of a harvest. We woke up at 5.30 a.m. to catch the action. Popovac Kula produces over 20 wines, many of which are Balkan varieties like Jilavka, Stanushina, and Prokupek. The best part of Popovacula Winery is you can stay here to get to know the wine, food, and local culture. Another thing you can experience here at the winery is you can watch a traditional folklore dance show. We're going to watch the show and take part in the action. Touring wineries in Macedonia's Povodari region is a must for any wine lover in Macedonia. 